Hey, 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 welcome back to the Big Board. So let's talk about reserve movements and uh, one of the new values I have found for it. Usually when I when I play this game and, and I put units into reserve, it's typically to get them up a little bit further into the field than they normally could, or it's for the typical exploit movement where you use your standard troops or regular troops or a division of panzers or whatever it is to make a hole and then you in the exploit phase you move your reserve units and, and power through. Of course the other thing that you can do uh, which I'm sure <laughs> sure all the <clears throat> all the regular players know that this but I had the uh, I had two divisions just here of panzers uh, which are now here and here. And what I could have done uh, if I wanted to take the risk is use them to stage forward to create a, a almost a new front, right? And by that I mean uh, in, in reserve mode I would have moved a quarter of my movement and then been able to move again my full, my full movement in the exploit phase which would have taken me all the way literally to the gates of Rostov, all the way down around about here, if I had have wanted to, or similarly a little less distance because there's no highway, but down here towards this location here. But the very next turn that would have posed fairly drastic problems for me because I would have had to have had mul probably multiple extenders in position to put keep those units in trace supply, unless I wanted to supply them via uh, via the, um, no, I forgot where I was at, I just had a little interruption there. Uh, I, I would have had to have multiple extenders to supply them, <coughs> supply the forces. And uh, so what I've, what, what I've been doing is using uh, two sets of five wagons. There's one set here and another set here. And I moved them five hexes uh, along the, the road here, so 10 hexes total flip it over. Usually I have it loaded up either uh, fully or partially with SP. Flip it over, dump the SP where they are, and it creates an extender. And, and that will then count back to, you know, the, a railhead or whatever the case might be, or another extender. And that will allow us then to move a headquarters in move mode. And there's one, where do you go? Where is he? Here. There's a, a throw seven hex forward guy here, and there's a five hex one here. They can count back five to this uh, to this this hex here, right? One, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five plus one. So that all works out just fine. Uh, but to have been able to do that in uh, the exploit mode and, and have the units down all the way back down here, that would have been really challenging, right? Because I'd have to have uh, probably an HQ here and throw it forward seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, they could have just made it if they could have got to here, but the, uh, the, the count back would have been one, two, three, four, five plus one here. So I would have had to have a wagon extender here, one, two, three, four, five. So I'd have to have two wagon extenders. Oh, you probably couldn't see that crap. Anyway, this long line here, it's difficult terrain to get through and trying to come through this angle is probably a mistake, but I've got a weight of forces there now. I've got at least two divisions that are, you know, a bunch of paraphernalia. And I'm probably gonna start meandering uh, several of these other groups of forces down here. So my point about the reserve movement is not only, so it's really good to kind of, uh, to use it in your typical exploit mode <clears throat> when you break through a line. But the other thing that it's good for, uh, you can actually be sitting fairly well back and leave your division stationary like I have with this guy. I've left him back here, right? I can push the line and the supply and get it all organized to push that all up and send it all up to here or thereabouts. And then, one move, I can then, you know, leapfrog at least up into the action, if not past the action, when the opportunity arises. So it's a, it's another usage of reserve movement and uh, taking advantage of the 
the extra movement points without having to go into that very risky uh, exploit mode, uh, which you know gives you a zero action rating and uh, and a combat value of zero or one or whatever the case may be. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you just because I thought it was interesting. And that's kind of a little update on what's going on in this little sector here. It's been a lot of movement, not very much attacking. A couple of uh, units in strat mode for the Soviets were, were, were wiped out here. Uh, we had a couple of real uh, serious attacks down in Sevastopol that we caused a breakthrough, which we hope will isolate two or three units and then clear the road to Sevastopol to begin the siege. Uh, so general movement along this direction. I decided that it was pretty important to try and uh, grab this little town here. And we're going to put a weight of units into that, uh, mainly infantry if we can, and try and encircle and choke out. And we spent a long, long, long time uh, fixing a few things and uh, moving some air units up here. I transported some unit up, up, transported some units up, and transferred other air forward so that we can uh, make one last. Uh, Decent lunge once I put a little more supply up in this area. I'm going to try and uh, encircle Moscow, although uh, the lines have deepened fairly significantly here. Not too scared of most of those units. I think I'm going to go for broke and, and ignore losses uh, because I think it's important to try and uh, cut things off here. I ended up with one unit out of supply over here. Uh, we rolled safely because he's an action rating four stack. Uh, there's one of those Panzer divisions there. It went, moved a, a little too far, so I decided to you know uh, pay the price for that. But it was important for me to capture this hex. I want to put the put the rail <coughs> put, put the rail out for Moscow, and also uh, try and isolate begin isolating these guys a little bit. All right, that's kind of the situation there, and we had some uh, penetration over here, and we're trying to envelop these fellows here as well. So. I'll uh, pop this up in just a minute and we'll actually it's going to be a couple of days before this goes up because I've got uh, two or three other videos coming. Talk to you soon.